and Louise Wells with Larkin Tweed Creative here and today I'm going to show you how to create a course theme mock-up image to feature your course on your website using Canva and Kajabi. So have you ever seen this on a website and wondered how did they do this? How did they do, do this so seamlessly and it's such a beautiful and professional way to feature your course but how do you pull that together? So I'm going to show you exactly how you can do that and first what we're going to do is we're going to jump into Canva. And so basically, this is how the image will come if you've purchased a theme from me. But if you wanted to recreate this, um, you would actually go into Elements. And OK, I'm already in there. But let's say you go into Elements, and then you go into Frames. And Frames is Canva's way of like providing a bunch of different shapes and sizes and letters that you can add an image to. And in this case, we're looking for devices. So we're going to click on that. And in here, you've got like browser images, laptop, desktop, tablet, phones. I think there's even watches. Anyways, anything you wanted to showcase your course in, you could use. And so you would just click on them, pull them in, and then you can edit the colors up here uh, to match the colors of your brand if you wanted to. And then the way that I, why I have it gray and not like the cloud sky and, and grass is that I actually changed this color. To gray and so if you wanted to do that but if you, the idea here is we want to feature your course theme within digital devices so that you can tell your audience my course is available you can do it online you can do it on a tablet you can do it on your desktop you can do it on your phone so that's kind of like the idea behind using this mock-up so in order to add an image to it then you would have an image in your uploads now recently I've created this theme so I have a bunch of different uh, screen sizes of the theme I just created, but I'm, I'm not going to use those. I'm going to do this with you from scratch. So in order to show your showcase your course theme, let's go to your course in Kajabi and pull some screenshots. So we're in Kajabi right now. So if you click on the course, so you would go under products and you would cl click on courses and your course lives in the customization area and you would click customize. Now, if you don't have a theme uploaded in this area yet, I do have a theme, uh, I do have a video within my YouTube channel that explains exactly how to do this. And so if you wanna do that first, you can definitely go watch that and come back to this video after. So let's go to customize. So once you're in the editor, you're gonna to want to click on preview so that we can actually look at the course theme and start taking our screenshots. Now, I use a Mac computer, so taking screenshots is really simple. I'm going to show you how to do it, but if you're working with a PC, you're going to want to look up an extension. Um, so I would Google screenshot um, on PC or free screenshot tool for PC and see what pops up, and then that's what you're going to use to take screenshots. But this video is still valuable to you if you are using a PC because this is going to show you um, what screenshots and where to take them. So for the desktop, what you're going to do is, so for a Mac, you clicked Shift Command 4. And once you have your cursor, see how you have a cursor now? Once you have that cursor, you can let go of the keyboard. And now you're going to find the top left corner and you're going to click and you're going to drag all the way down to the bottom left. And then once you have exactly the image that you want, you can let go and it's going to take a screenshot. Now, if you need to take a screenshot of the phone and the tablet, now this is how you do it. So you're going to right click on your screen. You're going to go to inspect. And you're going to want to make sure that this is highlighted in blue. So if it's not highlighted in blue, it'll look like this. So this is just showing the, the two devices. So if you wanted to see, so this is a tool that devs use to do quality assurance, making sure that on all devices that all the elements are sitting well, whether you're a dev or a web designer. So I do use this tool as well. So you just want to make sure it's highlighted. And now here are all the different devices that you can test out to take your screenshot. Now there's two different ways to do this because you can also do it in Kajabi, but I find in Kajabi, the screen sizes aren't quite accurate. So if you go here, like for example, I tend to use the iPhone 12 Pro, I find it's the exact perfect length. Where if I go in here and I click on this, see how short it is once you go and put that in the frame in canva it's gonna it's gonna cut off it's it's gonna cut off on the edges so that it can fit within that frame so it won't actually fit properly so i have found that the iphone 12 pro is the exact size that i'm using for that mock-up so now we're going to do the same thing shift command 4 
Now you got your cursor, you can release the keys. Top left corner, click and drag all the way down to the bottom right corner, and you've got your phone screenshot. Now how do you get your tablet? Now there's a few different ones you can use. Um, I like to use the Surface Duo, or even this one is a good one as well because it's nice and long. You want it to be long so that you can adjust it in the frame up and down versus having to adjust it uh, left and right, then you're losing part of the screen. So we're going to do this one. So again, Shift Command 4, top right, top left corner, click, drag all the way to the bottom corner and release. And then you've got all three of your images. And now we can close this and we're going to go back to Canva. Now, in order to add these images here, we have to add them in your uploads first. So I'm going to do this with you, even though I have a bunch of screenshots, I'm going to do this with you and we're going to um, bring those into Canva. So I'm going to move my screen over. So I'm going to select all the images. I have them, I have the screenshot saved on my desktop. So I'm going to click on those. I'm going to upload those here and that's only going to take a moment. And so once those are uploaded, it's a really simple step. So it's almost complete. And there we go. So this is your desktop. So you click and drag that here. And this is perfect. The blue Kajabi tab isn't showing on this one, which is great. Um, if you wanted to remove it, I typically use Photoshop to do that. And I understand that not everybody has that tool, but I wouldn't worry about it too much. Even if it's showing, it's still a representation of what your product or your course looks like. So I would leave it as is. And if you need, I would double click just to make sure you can drag it down a little bit. You could enlarge this a touch and then maybe you can lose that blue tab. Uh, let's see if we can do that. That's a little bit too small. So I'm going to keep it. You can also keep it as is. That's fine. Um, and then the phone is right here. And then you've got your phone in there. Perfect. We have our image. Now, how do we bring this into Kajabi? I'm going to show you that next. So you go under share and you're going to go under download and you're going to keep it as a PNG because PNG is how you're going to get that transparency around it. Um, you can't do that with a JPEG, but you got to make sure that you click on this box, the transparent background, and then let's click on all pages. Now you're going to unselect them all and then you're going to select current page and we're going to download this. And this is going to download and we are going to upload it to Kajabi. So now let's go into Kajabi right now, but this is the courses page. Now these have already all been uploaded for this page. So there is one on the home page that we're going to update. So let's go into the home page. And if we scroll down, you'll see right here, this image needs to be updated. So I'm going to add it in and I'm going to click on the image to get me there faster and I'm going to replace it. So I'm going to upload a new file. So I go to device and I have it right here. So I'm going to upload it here. And what I like to do just to make sure that the image is actually bigger once it shows up on Kajabi, I like to tighten it up, but you can see it's transparent. You can tighten it up to the devices. And then you're going to click save and upload. And ta-da, there you have it. Now you can actually feature your course theme image within your site. And let me know if you have any questions. If you're curious about this theme, uh, there is a link to my shop within my comments below. And if you have any questions or any comments or if there's anything that I missed or that you have further questions on, please do not hesitate to comment. I'm more than happy to answer anyone's questions. I hope you have a wonderful day.